Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another interaction on careers. Uh, we promise to our listeners that uh, and watchers, people who are watching us, that we bring the most current career material, career detailing, university information, how to apply, how to go about it, everything to your table in front of you uh, on a regular basis. So uh, today, what are we going to discuss? Uh, today is a very important day. I'm sure a lot of you are watching or at least gathering information about what is happening India versus Australia. Yeah. Even taking a cue from there, uh, what is needed to really win a cricket match? And this is not, not only one cricket match, it is a match which is like uh, millions of people all over the world are watching. So what does it take? Of course, uh, comp competitiveness, how you have been from this time. So it is not like it's not last three months how, what was happening. It is how each player has been training, performing, uh, being strengthened, how as a team you all come together, how the captain is leading them. All of these things uh, matter. Similarly for your career, it is how your base is. If you are a person who's uh, having a good reading habit, you can crack English questions much faster. If it's a person who has a good numeracy, numerical abilities, uh, you have been practicing on it, you have been, you know, consciously, subconsciously using it, then you can crack it better and so on and so forth. So uh, today we are going to discuss about opportunities, new opportunities. We are going to discuss about emerging careers. I'll be very happy to take on any questions if you're having. So uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of you would be having any questions. So you can keep on asking me in between. So I'll be happy to take on those questions also. Okay. Uh, let me quickly start off. Uh, I have a small PPT also, which we'll share with you. We are we are a firm based in Delhi, and we are India's topmost uh, career counseling firm. We keep on working with schools in India and abroad. I visited Dubai School Select Credence Public School in Dubai. We did JSS Private Academy, and this year was the uh, second time we did it. Uh, we did uh, Gems Millennium School, Gems Own Millennium School, and so on. So we keep on we keep on doing a lot of uh, work with schools uh, in India as well as outside India. Uh, next, please. Uh, also, uh, yeah. So we are we offer best uh, aptitude testing, career counseling. We also offer. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, okay, that's fine. C. A. Sudhir Goel, anytime. This is also a good point you have brought out. So whether, whether a team is losing or uh, I, I wish India wins, but even if a team is losing or winning, uh, you know, uh, there are there a are lot of things which emerge from there. And as a team, I'm sure one competes again and one wins again later on. Yeah, though I'm not watching right now. I was doing counseling. So uh, Yagya Chopra, uh, yeah, we, we normally put it up on the YouTube channel. So I'll have to check with my team. I have actually different teams who organize this. So, Yagya, I think my team will put this up on the channel. But uh, you can ask any questions now also. Hi, Sudeep. Uh, great, uh, Sudeep Kangali. That's a very uh, cricket, cricket oriented name, but welcome to the show. Uh, so, I was coming, I was just talk, talking to you about what we do. So, we do a lot of research on careers, on universities. We attend conferences ourselves. We uh, we we connect with a lot of big universities and try to try to do a lot of uh, you know a uh, lot of uh, joint events with them. Not only in India but outside India also. So that's the way we are placed. And we are thirty three people working from an office in South X, and we do activities online and offline. So uh, we have parents who take help from us for profile building, for study abroad, even for study in India. So we cover study in India, study abroad extensively, extensively. After 10th, which careers to choose, or which streams to choose, which careers subsequently. A lot of IV students come after 8th, how do I do my subject selection, and so on and so forth. I'll take your questions. So just wait for five minutes. I'll, I'll just uh, uh, I just kind of orient people first and then take on questions. I'm sure uh, some people have a lot of questions, and I'll be happy to take them on. Hi, Bhumi. How are you doing? Next. Okay, uh, so we felt that we should share, like for people who are in 12th right now, 
So these are some deadlines. Yeah, Rivu, can you make it bigger? Yeah, these are some deadlines which are already uh, happening or happened, like CLAT, ALT already closed. LSAT though is open, and some universities would use LSAT. Vikram would be coming later on, and he'll share with you. If I'm a design student, like you see it, one of the top most uh, entry into design colleges like IIT Mumbai, B design four years or B design plus M design five years. You see it helps me to get into IIT Guwahati and a couple of other colleges also. So you see it is a top exam. And if you want to get free free mock papers, you can check out uh, you see it mock paper 2023. You'll understand that. Check out nid.edu and you'll get all the information about NID. So you see it today and tomorrow is the last date. Even if you have friends who are good on the creative side, ask them to fill up. Yeah. Uh, Yagya Chopra is saying, I'm into public speaking and working for the community. That's very good, Yagya. I mean, you're already, uh, you have identified your skill. You know, I keep on telling a lot of people that it is not your degree, but your skill. So uh, maybe Yagya can be a corporate trainer. Yeah, you read about corporate trainer. I'll just talk about it in some time. And uh, it's not that you have taken PCM, you have to stick to that. I also took PCMB, but I shifted to management later on. I did physics honors. Then I shifted to management later on worked with a few corporates and then I reinvented myself as a career counselor and God was kind of built up. So I have a small team of uh, 33 people working with us. We are working in India and abroad. So hi, Sheetal, how are you doing? Okay, so Yagya, I'll come back. Let me complete this list. So G, yeah, 30th November. Uh, and then of course, various institutes like Amrita, VIT, Manipal, Symbiosis, IACD is a very, very unique institution. You, do you know that IACD, which is called Indian Institute of Craft Design, is one of its own kind. It was started by government of Rajasthan, and there's a private participation also by the industry. Because, see, Jaipur has a lot of craft exports. Please understand. So uh, I, I, had, I had sent one student a couple of years back to IACD, and she came and she started doing, uh, you know, she first uh, joined her dad, who was in exports business. And then she started doing these, uh, I would say, boxes in which you had wooden pieces and you could combine them and use things to file and fit and make something out of it, make small games out of it. And she used to go to schools and do it, though I think then she moved to London. So I'm not so sure what happened after that. But that's my exposure to IACD. If you want to be like Jimmy Chu, check out FDDI. Put peer design and development institute. Yeah. So can you can you tell me any other name like Jimmy Chu? Can you tell me a shoe designer in India? Anybody anybody knows about a shoe designer in India? Difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Some people keep on saying Bata or Liberty. I'll just take a gun and kill you right now if you say this. Why? They are mass producer. They're not, they're not designer De shoe designer means a high quality shoe designer a good name shoe designer means they do one piece of its own kind yeah De like jimmy Choo. jimmy Choo, of course is a global brand name so if you want to be like that then fddi it is open right now it is a government institute it is at different places but fddi at noida is the is the leading uh footwear design institute in the country and they're they're on a, a, all of its own kind yeah so check out uh check out fddi uh, Voxen is a good university at Hyderabad. Uh, Azim Premji is very, very good university, very well funded. I'm sure you would have seen how Mr. Azim Premji donated a lot of money, a lot of money. It went to Premji Foundation and they fund Azim Premji University. Very good for research, scientific research, uh, public policy side. I mean, research, education, uh, education management professionals, very, very good. Check out Atri also. Yeah. Russo Brunello, Purnima Agarwal is saying Russo Brunello. I don't know, how, I, I just uh, pardon me for my pronunciation. Uh, but okay, I'll check it out. Is he Indian? I asked Indian footwear designer. <laughs> so isn't it? So that's, so like typically you would not find. So why why don't you get into it? Yeah. When I started, nobody around me understood who, who is a career counselor. Like they said, who will come to you? Yeah. And today we sit here and I have clients from Singapore, Qatar, Kuwait, Oman, I mean, all over the place. I was surprised when one lady who stays in Vietnam, Indian lady, she came with her daughter. Yeah, so I'm just sharing. But we started at the right time. The people who initiate, people who start, they get a big name. They, their brand gets built up. 
द मिलानो द मिलानो इज मास प्रोड्यूसर मतलब वन पर्स दे डिफरेंट टाइप्स बट आई विल स्टिल चेक पुण्य आई एम नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर ऑन इट इफ दे आर स्पेशलाइज फुटवेयर डिजाइनर दैट मीन्स वन टाइप ऑफ फुटवेयर आई मीन वन डिजाइन ओनली वन पर्सन विल बाय दैट्स वॉट आई वुड इमेजिन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट अ प्रीमियम फुटवेयर डिजाइनर नेक्स्ट Okay, uh, these are some deadlines. So a lot of people have been asking us about Ashoka. People are interested. So Ashoka, as well as Kriya, Flame, Plaksha, they have a they have a uh, round system. First round, second round, third round, like this. Yeah. So you can see the dates of these. We have compiled it at one place for people who are in twelfth class. You can please take a snap of this. Though this will go on to YouTube, but keep it handy with yourself if you want to apply to these university. so uh, why should i apply to ashoka because you get liberal arts in fact all of these universities where i'll i'll combine different different areas so for example ashoka first semester you are studying subjects like critical thinking great books which is very general yeah and then you choose a major kind say economics and then you'll choose maybe entrepreneurship and then you'll pick up something creative like theater and so on so this this lot of if you go on ashoka's website you'll see all this uh, uh, on the offer so i can i can uh, it's like a buffet which has been laid out like when you go to a five star you have a big buffet and you take a plate and you can choose whatever you can mix idli with the north indian food with i mean with the punjabi food what is punjabi food i'm a uh, with the dal tadka or whatever uh, parathas with the uh, with the gujarati food and so on yeah it's you're not limited so that's how liberal arts works you can pick and choose there's a huge buffet of uh, subjects and you can pick and choose yeah of course uh, over a period of time some universities have got certain focus areas like flame i really like their uh, course which is bba communication management which is film making uh, uh, digital marketing which is uh, management and advertising very good unique combination plaksha is more science oriented you know tech oriented whether you are more on the bio side or the pcm side so plaksha is more tech oriented ashoka is more uh, humanities oriented and so on and so forth so ashoka also has a lot of stuff okay uh, i'll just quickly take some questions uh, first was uh, sudeep so sudeep uh, gangli asked need guidance about bsc psychology uh, so sudeep in india if i take a bsc or bs psychology ultimately it's fine like you know i can keep on uh, moving in the same spiral i can keep on moving in the in the same way whether i have b or bsc would not matter and then i would look at uh, masters in psychology so i will uh, i will you know i would go for a masters in psychology at master stage i can choose clinical or subsequently i can do uh, a specialization in clinical psychology i can take up a phd also so in india uh, i'm not limited i can do a bachelor's in psychology whether ba bsc with any background except for one odd university outside india however it is different and uh, if you tell me a country then i will speak about it like australia again i am not limited but yeah some countries uh, i would need a bio background to look at this but generally a uh, lot of places in the world i can pursue in psychology even if i have not studied psychology you know uh, so which are the top places to go for a psychology course after 12th grade so delhi university ambedkar university uh christ university bangalore iipr bangalore uh check out university of mumbai uh come back to delhi uh, gautam buddha university jamia millia islamia so these are all universities offering psychology if you check the psychology video on my youtube channel you will get a lot of details about psychology as a career option is it an emerging option it is a wow option why more and more mental health issues yeah lot of lot of mental health issues so a uh, lot of youngsters depression issues uh, then relationship issues then uh, stress then workplace related stress and so on then uh, then we have people experiencing uh, uh, social media uh, you know uh, social media addiction then drinking addiction uh, drugs addiction then uh, so all these are issues which are cropping up like crazy uh, and i was listening to somebody who kind of gives sane advice and 
I found that a uh, lot of us people who start working are over committed. You want to commit to work also. You want to commit to you know. Uh, you want to commit to uh, your pleasures also. I mean, you are torn between everything. So a lot of young people I know also, they want to party hard. They want to work hard. They are very ambitious also. They want to live a good life also. They want to enjoy everything. They want everything now. Hence, a lot of stress. Hence, take help from a psychologist. Yeah. So, so think about it. Okay. Uh, so, Shilpa Garg is asking about major and minor system in USA. I'll get a US specialist in between. He'll speak about it. So, I'll pull in Sumer in between. I'll, Shilpa, just wait for some time. Uh, let me just answer uh people's questions okay uh coming back to uh eco honors who asked about eco honors eco honors uh, sheetal jain yeah so very very important thing you should go for eco honors if you love maths if you don't like maths please don't take eco honors period why because the moment you grow in eco, it becomes more and more mathematical. It is like statistics, integration, differentiation are used like crazy. Yeah. So if you are a person who really, who really loves maths, you'll do amazingly well in eco honors. In fact, I send a lot of PCM students for eco and they do exceedingly well because they are good at maths. Most of them. Yeah. So, uh, so just share it. So don't take eco honors if you don't like maths. If you hate maths, please don't take eco honors. Second, where do I go for eco honors? Delhi University, Ambedkar University, IP University, Gautam Buddha University, DTU in Delhi, Delhi Technological University. A lot of people don't know about it, but it's it has very good eco honors. DTU. Then you have uh, then you can go in for uh, uh, Christ University, Bangalore, Narsimhanji, Mumbai. Yeah. So, uh, and of course, there are some universities down south also. We can take eco on. So, you know, see like Ashoka offer eco with, they don't call it eco honors per se, but I can do combinations, eco finance, you know. So, Ashoka, Kriya, Flame, I can still, I can still kind of focus on eco more compared to others. Okay. Uh, Indian universities, like the, like the ones which are on the screen, Shilpa Garwal, uh, they do have a core curriculum, but you can then mix and match other things. Uh, now that there is a CUT and CUT so general category available, Ashika, you need a good CUT score. My dear, there's no other way. Uh, okay, there's other ways, ECA quota, ECA. So maybe Ashika is good at, um, I don't know, painting. And you've done a lot of painting competitions, especially in the last three years. So you can take those tons of certificate and apply to ECA quota. If Ashika is good at sports, you can go through sports quota. So it depends on various uh, things. So I will, I'm just writing down, I have to do a separate video on quotas existing in Delhi University. So what kind of quotas one can avail of, yeah. So, um, so that's how it is. I have to say in science, I want to blow, am, am I at a disadvantage? No, Shilpagar Garwal, you are not at a disadvantage. It's pretty good that you are thinking right now. Just go for law, it's a great career opportunity. If you can do a top institute, of course it is good. If not, don't don't regret, don't worry about it. Do very good internships. I have a student from UPS who's done very very well. So how, normally when I get people from national schools, they have done three four internships. This guy has done about eleven internships. He has done almost 12, 13 research papers. So that shows he's really interested. Really really interested. He started a journal. Imagine a student starting a journal where other students are publishing. He had his own startup in law by third year. Yeah. So if I show you a lot of people, I share his CV because he has done exceedingly well. Uh, PCM, uh, arms and ammunition courses in India, uh, Gargi Mongi, it is available at a master's level. Vikram sir will just find out about it and tell us in some time. Vikram, arms and ammunition courses. I remember Pune, this institute is there offering a master. If you can just take it out. Uh, Let me check. Yeah. PCM oriented course abroad after 12th. Uh, Purnima Agarwal, it depends. So we send a lot of people. Today only I was doing, uh, uh, I was helping a student with essays. The student is going in for mechanical uh, and we are looking at computer designing. We are looking at uh, CAE. Uh, we are looking at product design eventually. 
you know so uh, i can go for that after pcm i can go for maths courses i send every year i send about 8 to 9 students different universities for maths or stats courses after maths i can look for supply chain management amazing jobs amazing all your amazon uber everyone hires you after maths i can look for operations research after maths i can go for computing ai and all after maths i can go for higher mathematical research so it depends on what you are look at what you are, what you are good at environmental science is also hot so you can look at that environmental science and sustainable management after pca i can look for food technology so these are good areas to look for but it depends maybe you can come for individual counseling and then i can help you more how useful is patent or ip law what are the requirements for that yeah i think it's a pretty good uh, uh, it's a part of corporate law only so uh, so let's say uh, up, like if you decide to make pepsi i mean you made a black liquid and you start bottle and put pepsi's brand you are infringing on their trademark or patent law uh, i mean you are infringing on their trademark uh, and and they can sue you and they can ask pul- police to take action on you yeah so so these are really really important and with so many corporates so many brands here and now patenting coming into services also it's a huge area uh, in fact some universities are focusing on helping students file patent helping their professors file patent so check out shulni university they are doing it which country is more better pursue engineering and have better job opportunity putting in terms of education us still leads the pack but if i look at job opportunity stay back pr right now australia is big and uh, canada is good but i don't know currently the indo canadian relations are going through this thing there are some question marks but canada also has been a decent country amongst upcoming country please look at netherlands uh, look for my video value for country value for money countries abroad so that video i have highlighted netherlands finland finland i can get a pr in 4 years exciting and happy happy country my brother stayed in sweden for some time i still remember i mean he would get so much time off and he would play every day it was a good life for him till that time he decided to go to us where he needs to be much more competitive of course he got a high can bigger whatever bigger house bigger things uh uh yeah we bhumi is asking i want to know about bba finance okay so this course is available at uh, Sukh- sukhdev college of shahid sukhdev college of business studies it was earlier long term act was known as cbs it is a top college in du in some respects better than srcc also so they have been doing this course for number of years with excellent placement so you want to be an investment banker like hrithik roshan was in one of the movies dil zindagi na milegi dobara uh okay portfolio management corporate finance venture capital private equity 15 plus careers bhumi out of this bhumi just check this website vault.com v a u l t vault.com in case you want to look at uh, this option uh so vault you will find lot of details about finance this thing uh along with this you can do some qualifications also like uh, acca like cfp certified uh, uh, certified financial planner uh, third year you can do cfa also what are colleges looking for in an application as in how i can make it stand out ashika typically colleges are looking for that how you are different from other people you know though i'll discuss uh, i'll just take out questions from ashoka and i'll discuss that uh, but first thing is how you are different from the next five people who are applying so ashika has to highlight some things about herself some activity which you did some things which you overcame and how you are different than other people so that is one prime thing second why are you interested in a course which you are aiming for i mean what is your career plan so in different ways they will ask you so where do you see yourself in 7 years from now or or general questions just to figure out your career plan and and how do you link all of that so your lor also is speaking your teachers are giving you a letter of reference so that is also speaking about like how you are as a person so if all these things match then the college is certain that yes let's say example for example ashika is a person who is socially conscious who wants to contribute to the society and uh, can work in public policy hence ashika wants a combination of pol science economics and wants to build up on that i hope i am communicating to you yeah but i'll come back with more come back uh, on this more and application essay i have heard that not getting to top 5 nlu and doing law elsewhere is useless no it's not true shilpa garwal 
I have a student who went to IP University, average college, but and I told you about this guy. He went to UPS Dehradun, which is not amongst top 15, and still both of them did a great job. That girl got a job with Trilegal, which national school top five people also find it difficult to get, and 12 years back at a salary of 65,000. So it depends on your own drive also. So I would not say that, but yeah, of course you try to get into top 10, top 15. I think it's fine. What should people who hate maths and science do? You identified law. I would go for psychology also. So a little bit of mathematical thing will come. I would go for uh, uh, something uh, related to management. I would go for advertising if one is creative. I would think of um, hospitality if I'm interested in that. I would think of uh, consulting as a career. I can do Paul science, public policy. Does not matter that I have not done any career. I'll do Paul science and then get into public policy. I'll do Paul science and get into uh, law later on. I can do Paul science and get into IR. After 12th, if you are looking at international relations, check out Ambedkar University. So Ambedkar has a BA Global Studies program, which I could look at. Yeah. And that's a good question, Shilpagar Agarwal. I, I think you should join our team. You ask very good questions. <laughs> because uh, I always ask. I was in Dubai some days back and... Uh, I kept on asking people, love maths, so thoda sa hands will come up. And then I would ask people, hate maths, and then a lot of hands will come up. Yeah. So I think uh, the hater of maths is increasing. Yash Shabla, English honors is decent, but uh, the only challenge is, Yash, uh, uh, with Chat GPT, Chat GPT 4, Google Bard, and other such tools, uh, there are some question marks as to how many of them would be needed. So people who are senior enough so they know how to you know so today i can one of my team members completed a book in 10 minutes straight 10 minutes can you imagine that so that those are the challenges so i am still giving it with a pinch of salt but if you want to be a linguist if you want to do research if you want to be a professor of english it's a great opportunity otherwise sort of fight here how to join iaf after commerce with maths so Akshay Garg, IAF, if you want to fly, it's not possible because typically physics is needed. Also, uh, uh, you, with commerce, you can look at army, uh, but not IAF. Uh, you can join IAF in administrative jobs after graduation, you know. So that is one. But again, more we can research and get back. Uh, so uh, I'll quickly, I think I have answered these questions. So, uh, I will quickly ask uh, Vikram to take charge. Vikram, uh, after some time, we'll get Sumer also to speak to students on uh, application essays. And a uh, uh, little bit people had some study bird queries. So, we'll take that also. So, uh, next slide. And Vikram, it's all yours. Oh, okay. Vikram is just coming. Okay, CIC is a very good center at under Delhi University. So DU has CIC. So what is CIC? It was a new center established about six, seven years back. And uh, what happened there was, uh, uh, it was another meta university concept. So they started two courses, one for humanities, amazing, BA Social Science and Humanities, where you could do a combination. So BA Social Science and Humanities, mein kya tha? you could, uh, BA Social Science and Humanities would have, you know, uh, I would first semester, last semester is common. In between four semesters, I can I can change my course in college. Yeah. So I could take management, I can take psychology, I can take journalism, I can take change my course in college. So just like a liberal arts concept. And amazing. I mean, good teachers, good. And of course, I can taste other colleges, other courses also. Second course was BTEC Maths and Innovation. BTEC Maths and Innovation, again, pretty good. So what was it all about? BTEC Maths and Innovation. So BTEC Mass Innovation uh, was about uh, mathematics, computer science, and entrepreneurship. Yeah. So these two courses they start off with and really a good center. Okay. Bhumi, see you, it is the only way. Bhumi, if you elect me as an education minister, I'll have a separate quota for girls. Shilpagar, I have heard that international is a big scam. Is it true? I, I don't know. Well, a scam in what sense? Well, are you saying jobs and all kinds or... I, I mean, you'll have to elaborate. <clears throat> How do we track important dates for application for university with CUT, non CUT? Check on a site like Careers 360. Also, like our social media, we, we put up a lot of stuff. 
So you can like Jitin Chavla dot Career Guru. Rebu, if you can show them the Instagram thing, Jitin Chavla dot Career Guru. You can also uh, check uh, our YouTube channel, which goes by my name, Jitin Chavla Center for Career Development. Same name. Uh, so, to best to get into UN, uh, typically people with some experience would get into UN. So, if you do law plus public policy kind, if you work there, so th yeah, thank you, Rebu. So Jitin Chavla dot career guru with a blue tick. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, yeah. So this is, this is look, we have put up Ashoka, myths about spring. So for study abroad, study in India, we keep on putting up a lot of stuff. Flame last. So as universities are coming out, we keep on putting up, uh, you know, uh, how do you how do you crack that university, uh, MBA applications, good MBA colleges, our own events, you know. So we try to put up a lot of things uh, on our Instagram site. So you can right now you can go to jitinchavla.careerguru and you can you can just uh, uh, follow us. Okay, great. So coming back now, I'll hand over uh, the podium. There's no podium. I say virtual podium to Vikram. So uh, Vikram uh, Vikram uh, leads a team at uh, Indian Domestic Council, and he'll share some details about. Uh, uh, institution and how do we go about it? So, Triple IT is again a very, very good institution. So, I personally visited, we organize a principal's conference meet there, and I've been in touch with a lot of faculty members from there, amazing people. I I know Triple IT would do classes at night, 12, 1 o'clock, because students are comfortable, and a lot of visiting faculty are comfortable. So, uh, check out such institutions, and they have amazing courses. Okay, do you know Triple IT has a course, BTEC, Social Science and Computer Science? Half the seats are reserved for humanities students, of course, with maths. So Vikram will speak more about it. All the best, Vikram. Thank you, sir. And for your question, uh, weapon technology later on in the masters is available in Savitri by Fuller Pune University. That's only in the form of M Tech. Yeah. Uh, Ribu, next slide, please. So uh, this is TIS. Now, uh, in the last year onwards, TIS is uh, taking the admission for bachelor's program, especially in the masters from this year. They are taking CUET exams. They have announced it in the pro proper way in the social media. So they have a program of BA in uh, social science and another is BSc in sustainability and analytics. So both are through CUET. Both are form in the form of liberal arts like Ashoka, Flame, Jindal or some other universities. But if you check out the number of opening is very less. So competition is huge. Your CUET scores should be a uh, something good manner. Like, uh, more than 800, if you calculate the normalized score, more than 750 or 760. Yes. Uh, next slide. So uh, now, uh, especially uh, the new age universities and the big corporates, now what type of skills they are needed? So they need research methodology, critical thinking, leadership roles, creativity, communication, ideation, and flexibility. So this type of things, maybe you can get something in new age universities, something like Ashoka, Flame, Ahmedabad, Atria. Uh, nowadays, Universal AI University is coming up in Mumbai. They offer a lot of programs, whether it's Bachelor of Design, BBA, or BTEC with AI, artificial intelligence. That's you can check it out. Next, please. Ashoka, we already talked about, like there are multiple programs. If you are looking for economics, so they have a B BSc economics and finance, uh, economics and history, and same as Korea, you will find. And plus, this all liberal art based universities, if you want to mix the management subject or any other subject with bio, because most of the students think, Ki, I don't want to leave the bio part in my life, like those are coming from PCB background. So, with the BSc biological sciences, you can add a lot of minor subjects, something related to business, something related to marketing, painting, anything. So they're giving you a flexibility. So that's program name as a BSc Bio Plus Management. So that's you can check in Ashoka, Kreya, all the liberal art based. Next, please. Uh, next, that's I already cover. Flame. So Flame, uh, again, is popularized more into a communication management, BBA communication management, if you're looking for. Otherwise, they have a BSc Computer Science, Psychology, uh, English and Media, Marketing, they have a particular subjects. They have a program of Bachelor of Design as well. So that's you can check it out. The admission is on. 
they have a timeline series so first uh, timeline is going on the first round is going on for the admissions they can check it out and first there's a one question from mr amitan ki how do we track important dates as mr jitin has already recommended that you can check career 360 or our uh, that's youtube channel or instagram channel otherwise you can connect with us we have a proper hand holding for the indian application as well we'll give you support for the sops filing don't miss the dates that's all we are covering that next please op jindal op jindal uh, uh, coming up as a very strong point pillar into law domain so they have now coming up as a bba psychology international relations public policies and liberal art and journalism as well so even same ashoka jindal shivnather they do offer summer camps as well so those are in 11th they can check uh, the summer camps dates in the month of february or march online series so that's you can apply and visit the campus uh, like especially for the students they have a stay back policies like op jindal having a 10 days to 2 week camp ashoka having a 5 day summer camp shivnather same 5 days so that's you can check next please shivnather uh, last year shivnather introduced the bachelor of design program earlier they don't have like more into tech uh, english history sociology international relations or biology chemistry or bms or economics and finance so as i remember this one question from one person that's uh, bba fia otherwise uh, bsc economics and finance format you can check in christ uh, narsi munji they have a bsc finance Uh, then symbiosis skill and professional university they have a uh, bba fintech again then vijay bhumi atlas skill tech and uh, universal ai so they give you understanding of finance with technology so that's a fintech model so that's you can check next please ahmedabad is in proper ahmedabad city same liberal art format uh, they have a good reputation in the market especially the faculty members internship and the outcome so that's you can check the uh, admission is on you can apply for the first round or second round next we go next line ajim prem ji is coming up like very very strong pillar into uh, making of education management social science uh, philosophy uh, then uh, now they are coming up a new uh, programs more into liberal art based format ba program as well you can mix and match like major and minor same as liberal arts there's a beautiful campus and uh, they have a good scholarship series like if you need scholarship you can apply for the scholarship as well next please plaksha is uh, is based at Panj uh, mohali punjab they have a four different programs btech cs and ai robotics biological system engineering and data science and business and economics so last option we take in data science business economics as a beauty like any student from the math background can apply for this programs majorly they build you into more into data science tech based and plus they will get understanding of economics and business so the wonderful programs even plaksha do offer summer camp so those are student 9 10th 11th they can visit the summer camp in next year they have a uh, applications might be open in the same february or march that's you can check might be they have a two ways of uh, two slot for the summer camps next next slide ribu so uh, in the meantime so, uh, if you have any questions you can put it down here in the chat i can answer them karnavati karnavati university is in gandhinagar and uh, mainly the uid program is under uid domain the bachelor of design program if, and karnavati having a 2 plus 2 twinning programs so uh, uh with the tuning programs we have just you can say uh, launch a new blog in the website that you can check it out lot of universities providing tuning programs 2 plus 2 1 plus 2 or uh 2 plus 1 format like this uh, suppose uh, there's a one programs under uh, institute of meragoni that's in mumbai so they have a 1 plus 2 that means one year you study in mumbai campus and last two years there were different different campuses like dubai uk Uh, Paris, and even they are planning in Australia as well. So 
that's you can complete your education abroad so cost effective uh, you can build it up your strength in india then you can complete your degree outside accordingly you can build it up a lot of tech based bba psychology bachelor of designs coming under different domains you can check so uh, mr amit that's uh, ppt maybe you can watch uh, the youtube channel later on we'll uh, uploaded the this video on the youtube only then you can check otherwise you can take a snapshot next please and if you need any help you can connect us on the above contact number so uh, accordingly my team will connect and book a session for that next slide please so cuet cuet uh, is mainly for the all the central universities and major now the lot of private universities coming up in the same picture so uh, next slide dibu next slide so that's in 2024 the examination dates is already been announced the applications might be open in the month of january and or february we are waiting for the notifications and uh, more uh, they have a slot wise system examination so three slots uh, first your domain and general test as well next uh, bhumi yes uh, they are good college in delhi like fms delhi then imt gaziabad mdi gurgaon uh, iaft that's more of a mba international business then uh, bimtech then lot of other like maybe private university you can check shivnadar bennett that's you can check even ip university do offer mba program imi is also good mdi is also yeah. good so scheme of examination cuet uh, section a b and domain and general test so uh, suppose uh, you want to do uh, management programs and you want to keep doors open for the economics and uh, psychology pol science or something so you need to uh, pick english and plus maths and plus any domain whatever the subjects you are take uh, you already in the 11th and 12th so and plus general test you have to pick if you want to appear for management and you want to keep eligible yourself for the later on next please so uh, the question wise series 40 questions 50 questions and 50 that's depend domain english and general test next even this all information you can get on the cuet website as well this is the fees like up to three subjects you can the general fees is 750 seven subjects 1500 and as much as the subject you can add 7 to 50 that's a major next Uh, this year the deadline might uh, start by 9th of february and closed around 12th of march we are expecting the same format in next uh, in coming year 2024 uh, that's a notification you will get it in the cuet website only that's we have mentioned website cuet.summer.ac.in next steps you need to upload your photograph aadhar card your choices of the uh, universities and programs that's the first step uh, then you need to appear for cuet third step you need to do a registration and fourth step you need to set your preference next next that's a website name yeah this is domain subject wise like if you are from the commerce uh like accountancy uh, business studies maths even some students are picking uh, legal studies and political science as well psychology as well so that's a more eligibility and b2 level is more of engineering graphic subject entrepreneurship subject agriculture based next same uh, ribu can you next slide so this is a slot i'm talking about so uh, this year from uh, may till june there are three slots student need to pick three slots and on the calendar on the cuet website they need to book a slot accordingly they can appear for the test next 
so uh, eligibility psychology uh, students can el eligible from any domain any subjects so but they need to pick english two subject from b1 and any subject for b uh, b2 level so whether you have a psychology or not you can appear but economics the mathematical subject should be there in your domain like physics chemistry maths or commerce with maths or humanities with maths so from the last year onwards student from applied mathematics domain can also eligible for economics maths honors stats honors computer science electronics and communication bsc so they can appear for the cvt and get the seats next same eligibility that you can check on the cvt majorly bcom honors or bms uh, needed math BFIA maths honors. Next, please. So uh, there will be a ECN sports quota. So uh, after applying for CUET, you need to appear for CUET then, and then on the basis of your score, seventy-five percent's uh, weightage should be on your certificate, trials, and performance as well. So. on trial 75% weightage and certificate is 25% weightage next there's a lot of activities on eca is mentioned even that you can check on delhi university websites you will get the full details so next, uh, just uh, yeah. just covering this uh, so you can look at dance music you can look at creative writing can you come back come back uh, ribu so this is important because some students are very very active and they don't know and they don't apply you'll have to kind of build this up eca separately and uh, uh, you know uh, creative writing for example music vocal music instrumentation uh, instrumental sorry theater you know but a strong performance as any ki maine ek bari theater kiya tha kab when i was in fifth class sorry but last 2 uh, 3 years and If you have competed in some regional meets, regional competition, then yes, it will. Uh, so uh, I think uh, we'll continue with this. But uh, there were two, three questions in between. Uh, Vikram, let's take it immediately. Yeah. No, so sure. uh, one is uh, Shalu is saying various universities in and around Delhi for commerce-related courses. So Shalu, I'll just highlight some very good universities, which are not so difficult to get in. A BBA. Uh, so you can look at that. You can look at uh, IP University. They have Eco. You can look at Gautam Buddha University. They have a lot of courses. Then Shiv Nadar is a very good university. Shiv Nadar for law. Op Jindal is a good university. You can take up law from Op Jindal. I am Rohtak also has a course called BBA Law. Amazing course, and I am sure they will have very good placements. Uh, yeah, okay. In between, so there were three questions which we wanted to cover. and i have uh, sumer with me so sumer will quickly answer those first was uh, uh, how do i look at masters and uh, majors and minors in us uh, second was uh, application essay what all does it uh, have so we'll cover that also and then how do you get into uet so some of you were asking uh, uh, just uh, put your full attention here and don't see the match right now just stop for 2 minutes and then uh, we'll come back and then we'll continue with the delhi university we'll talk about sports quota and so on so i have sumer who leads a team uh, who leads a study abroad team he'll quickly highlight these three things sumer hi good evening everybody thank you so much for joining uh, so yeah really quickly uh, without wasting any time if we're looking at the us specifically the concept of majors and minors is such that your area of concentration specifically becomes majors so the areas where in specifically you are taking more credits for instance if it is economic psychology uh, any of the other areas and minors are uh, largely like electives they are specifically you know with uh, the the their credits and their amounts are very less comparatively so if you could probably do an economics major with a psychology minor or you could do an economics major with a math minor or you could do a uh, you know business management major with an industrial design minor so that would largely depend on your interest specifically as to how can you choose your major and minor when you're applying to the us but it should be in broad consideration that whichever program that you're doing 
that program has that option of specifically taking up you know the minor of your choice overall secondly the one question that came up was that how can i apply to the un so that's a very popular question uh, there are a few institutions wherein you can do your degree from for instance you can go to the uh, you can apply to geneva school of diplomacy there were there are a lot of institutions in the uk as well uh, specifically like uh, london school of economics king's college london they offer an undergraduate degree and a postgraduate degree in international relations specifically so for that particular reason you will be able to move forward and uh, apply uh, you know uh, after graduating over there and hopefully if you network well then you can apply to the un because there are you know every year the, the posts keep on coming for different departments and different services so you would have to also define what kind of uh, departments would you be li- uh, largely looking at and then accordingly reorient your you know entire profile as such as well so for instance if you want to do something with regard to uh, diplomacy so uh, the best way to go about that would be largely that you would have to move forward in um, working with you know a lot of uh, you know uh, for example if you're in the us if you graduated out of any of the top notch universities there so working with government based institutions or something in the diplomatic department or you could be working in uh, as a journalist where you're doing a lot of political research and things like that so those would open up gates for you you know largely in the un as far as the third question which was you know related to the applications essay so application essays are a make or break situation so uh, the way it specifically works is that you would have to really look at the prompt that you know that particular university or that college is offering so for instance one prompt can be think about a time when you faced a challenge how did you you know rise above it so what was the entire journey what did you learn so these four parts of a particular question has to be you know in specific orders you would have to answer each and every question that is in that particular prompt and make sure that everything is covered well so what happens is a lot of students they use uh, you know software like chat gpt or they'll use google bard or any of those kind of things they cannot uh, generate uh, you know empathetic essays comparatively it's something like that they you know generate more of robotic essays with clichés and you know an admissions committee would be very uh, easily they'll be able to understand that so try to use your own language and then accordingly move forward and it has to be also very very uh, you know reflective of your past experiences so for instance you know if you're mentioning that there was some certain uh, issue that you you know had maybe a speech impediment or any of those kind of you know areas then largely how what was the process of you basically coming out of it is what they want to know and you know what differences did that bring into your personality those kind of aspects so make sure that you adhere to the word limit of the prompt and make sure that everything is covered grammatical errors please make sure that there are no grammatical errors within your essay it's a turn off for a lot of uh, admission uh, guys secondly when you're also looking onto the lines of writing your essays make sure that you're not using very flowery language because the moment you start using very flowery language they would not want to you know visit the dictionary every time they want you know you used a very uh, dramatic word or something like that so make sure that that's very easy comparatively so yeah in a nutshell that is how you would have to also look at uh, in terms of writing your college application essays right so uh, i'll hand over to vikram sir and mr jitin yes great uh, thanks a lot uh, i think uh, uh, we have covered these questions also uh, so amit if you need uh, this presentation you can just uh, whatsapp us on any of these numbers and we'll be happy to share this uh, presentation and uh, uh review if you can put up the ppt once again the final thing i'll just complete uh yeah uh so so when it comes to uh when it comes to finalizing indian universities you know uh people have uh, apprehensions that will i get admission or not so first of all understand from from the time cut became prominent 12th class percentage it lost it its relevance yeah so right now the entire school system tuitions everyone talks about cut 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 everyone talks about sorry getting good marks in 12th board but actually it is cut 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 so aapko cut mein hi excel karna padega then only you can build up yeah 
Now, okay, coming back to sports quota, you can see it represented India in Olympic Games, World Championship, you know, position, participated in international youth junior competition, in national games, and so on. So all this, all these tournaments, so you need a certain level to apply for sports quota. It is not that you can just go for sports quota just like that. Next. Next, please. So uh, if you are an international level player, DU is after you. I know earlier days uh, when college like SSCC, St. Stephen's will be after you. If you are an international level player, you know. But I mean, Olympic Games, World Championship, Commonwealth Games, Asian Games, you know. So real, really big games. Next. But if you are playing regionally, you have played in, I don't know, a region, then you'll have to participate in the process where you go through, uh, you know, uh, sports trials, where your certificates are also seen and so on. Next, please. Yeah, so this is there. 40 marks for merit participation sports trial. Okay. So again, again, you need certificates. It cannot be, ki, yeah, well, you play gully cricket will not be helpful. So, so somewhere where you have done any special, you know, memorial, open this thing, prize money league, ranking competition, then it will be helpful for you. Next. Various games. So team games. So most of the, most of the games are included by Delhi University Sports Council. Next. So you can check this information again if you want on du.ac.in. Next. All, almost 200 plus universities are accepting CUET. University of Delhi, yeah. Ambedkar University, Jami Milia. DTU is very good. Somebody was asking which are the universities in Delhi. So DTU is a very, very good university. IG DTU, DTU has two courses. BBA, DTU is Delhi campus. They have BBA and ECO. IG DTU has BBA. NSUT has BBA. Mithibai College has BMS. Okay. NM College of Commerce, Mumbai is also good. They have they have a BMS course. So just check it out. JNU has a five-year languages course after 12th. Next. So I'm sure you have heard these names, but sometimes we don't realize, like ARSG College. Yeah, it has been ranked very, very highly in NIRF rankings, national rankings, NIRF. So uh, uh, ARSD again, and I have a lot of friends and students who studied here. So uh, so sometimes people miss this. Miranda House in North Campus is pretty good. KM is pretty good again. Gargi is a good college. Kamla Nehru is a very, very good college. You can check it out. Next. So if you are looking at a preference list for become honors, economics honors, so uh, so these are the top five colleges, SRCC, LSR, Hansraj, Hindu, KM, they're all in North Campus, yeah, uh, except for LSR, LSR is off campus. So uh, so this is how you can look at these colleges. So typically, these lists will remain similar. Uh, a good way to look at it is uh, maybe go two years back and you'll find percentages and wherever highest cutoffs are, typically they will be good colleges, okay. BMS Sukhdev is a top college. BMS is a more professional course. Become honest, I'll take up if I am interested in accounting. Otherwise, BMS is a good course. Next. Yeah, for Paul Science, LSR, Hindu has a pretty strong Paul Science faculty. JMC has a good name. In fact, I have somebody who passed out from DPS Kalkapuram, went to JMC, and then went to uh, US, Columbia University, to do a master's in global studies and came back to India because she wanted to come back because of family and joined uh, Grant Thornton. Then she joined uh, another consulting company called, uh, uh, she joined a Pontoka, Denmark-based consulting company. And that's how her this thing became. For psychology, LSR, JMC, IP College for Women, Kamala Nehru College, Gargi are good colleges. Next. So I think we have completed more or less, uh, yeah, this is the kind of CUT scores you would see. 
so uh, you can check out uh, like last year cutoff scores though at the end even in i remember in october also uh, delhi university uh, asked people to reapply uh, to re uh, to kind of uh, reapproach them and lot of seats were available though not at the top most colleges but the next rung of colleges yeah but see it depends on what you are looking at so our typical bcom is higher about 748 to 800 at top colleges but uh, uh, ba cut off can be as low as 676 as you can see on this yeah and came college which is a north campus college next bfi is a very focused course amit so if you are clear that you want to crack finance if you are clear that you want to crack finance then bfi is good uh, bms or bba is a generic course bfi is a very very focused course okay Uh, so some colleges you will not like Bhaskar Chal is a very good college for sciences and there the CUT you don't need a very high CUT score. Shahid Rajgir is a very strong college for science students where you don't need a C very high CUT score. Similarly, if you look at uh, Acharya Narendra College, it is quite decent, but you don't need a high CUT score. Yeah, Kalindi for some subjects it's quite decent. Okay, Zakir Hussain Maths has a very good placement. If I tell you, you'll be shocked. Maths honor Zakir Hussain. Last year, I know somebody got a placement of 18 lakhs per annum after maths, yeah, from Zakir Hussain. Zakir Hussain maths has a very good placement. So you will have to do some research. For that, the best is to reach out to your seniors. So use LinkedIn extensively. Yeah, if you don't have a LinkedIn account, uh, you will not be able to connect with the right set of people. So 11th and 12th grade, you should be on a LinkedIn account. Next. Okay, uh, check out these resources. Adda twenty four seven. A lot of people ask me how do I prepare instead of spending a lot of money on coaching institutes. Where also you have to do by yourself. Koi kuch karayega khud. Ap apko khud karna padega. Check Adda two four seven. So Adda two four seven is a website where you will get a lot of competitive this thing. Some free, some free of charge also. Similarly, self studies dot com. You have a lot of free of charge CUT preparation material. So self studies free of completely free of charge. Under twenty four seven, something free and something at a very decent cost. And uh, if you want to learn physics, chemistry, maths, so check out Khan Khan Academy. School of Life gives you a lot of guidance on various areas. Next, like how do you look at relationships, your own self, motivate your your own self. School of Life. So, uh, so you will be caught in these decisions all the time. Ashoka versus Delhi University, top three colleges. Vips versus Shiv Nagar. Delhi University CIC versus Liberal Arts. Some university they advertise a lot and the brand is big, but you'll have to get into detail to finalize it. Yeah, so it depends on what you are looking at. Okay, but if you ask me these questions, I'll be happy to reply. Uh, so you can ask me in the anything which is there on your mind. You can ask me in the comment section. I'll be I'll have I'll reply to you immediately. But generally speaking, again depends on your preference. Maybe I am not good at physics, chemistry. I'll go for maths honors because maths itself is a good career option. Maybe I'm uh, I'm a very creative, sketching kind of a person. But then design is better. If I'm a person who can create digital advertising, then that side is better. Next. So uh, somehow we help people get into various institutions like I am in the like. Uh, Shiv Nagar, like top universities all over India. Next, I mean, we help them in the sense uh, we we apply for them and outside India also. My students are studying at Harvard, Cornell, top universities in the world. Next, we are a focused career counseling firm, and we have application assistance also both for India and abroad. So. We are very unique. So there are a lot of people who do study abroad only. There are people who do study in India only. But right from the time you think of which subjects should I choose in after tenth class, to uh, what courses should I look at, which universities, even applying to those universities, everything is handled by us. For study abroad, profile building, study abroad, everything is handled by us. Next. So yeah. Uh, so we have our Indian applications process where initiation, preparation, decision making, and all resources are provided. So in case you're interested in the Indian application process, you can be in touch with us, and uh, we'll be happy to uh, help you out. Uh, same with study abroad also. So whichever areas you are interested in, you can be in touch with us.
Next. So when you look at uh, application process, so course availability, are you fitting that eligibility criteria? Financial parameters, some universities are very expensive. So Flame University typical charges are like 10, 11 lakhs per annum. Yeah. So maybe you don't want to apply to that. Maybe you want to apply to a similar university like Ahmedabad University, which is also a good liberal arts university at a much lower charge. Yeah. Maybe you are looking at colleges in Pune, maybe Bangalore, maybe Ahmedabad. So we help you in finalizing everything. Yes, Shavala for psychology, you can look at Ambedkar University in near near in Delhi, Jamia Millia Islamia, Gautam Buddha University. Yeah, so these are good. Bangalore has very good colleges like IAPR, Christ University, Bangalore also. Next. So uh, so yeah, so a lot of new age universities require you to uh, you know work on the applications thoroughly. So first of all is uh, starting off with the statement of purpose, LOR. Maybe there are some essays which you have to build up. Uh, so again, we have a team which specializing in helping you apply to NIN University separately and to study for university separately. Next. And then once you receive the offers, then which one to look at, which colleges are ranked better. Maybe some places you can go for scholarships. What are the future placement opportunities? Where you can get jobs? And if you're investing so much money, so I know a person who went to a college, they invested about 40 lakh rupees. The starting salary was 30,000 per month. Yeah, not a good story. So we need to understand all of this and then, then go for the final admissions. So we people help you step by step in that also. Uh, Rindajit Kalita, if you want to be a game designer, uh, if you want, if you're on the programming side, you can take up BTEC or BCA. Side by side, you can take up game designing courses. Where if you are more on the, uh, you know, creative side, then you can do a BFA and be on the creative side of game design. Uh, if you, if you want to be a kind of a player, then you just need to practice and education qualifications does not matter. Okay. So, uh, we provide a lot of resources to people, like typically how to do a research paper, how do you build up your profile, how do you like how do you step by step, how do you go for internships, how do you take up specialized courses online? Everything is covered in this. Yeah. So uh, various uh, TED talks which you should look at, uh, a lot of documentaries, movies. We ask you to because otherwise you don't know. Like some of you did talk of finance, but if I say which career in finance? So you will not understand. But if you have seen two, three movies in, in related to it, then you can say, I'm interested in portfolio management or venture capital or private equity. Next. So we have been helping people get admits into various universities. We help them do the essays. We help them edit. We help them do the entire gamut of things so that they are able to crack good universities. Next. Next. So any other questions? So one question I missed, Shilpa Garwal. What are the career prospects for international law? So I might work in a law firm. So there are a lot of UK-based law firms in India. So think of a multinational company. Uh, they are operating in India, but they have a fight. They have some issue with the, you know, uh, with the government itself. Uh, like check out the Bowl Power Corporation. So they had, they agreed on a certain... Uh, you know, uh, agreement, certain rate, which the government will buy electricity from them in Maharashtra. And then the, and then politics took over, the government changed, and then the next government wanted to not honor that agreement. So double took them to an international court of justice. Yeah. So that is one example. Think of India and Pakistan. So some, some river is flowing uh, from, you know, uh, which goes into both the countries. So how would water sharing happen? So this is a case for international arbitration. Uh, a multinational company is transferring profits out of India. How should they do it? And there is some tax complication. Again, international specialists will take over. Uh, Shitaljan, you can fill up both. Again, as I said earlier, e-commerce should be taken up by people who really love maths. Become owners uh, is more accounting oriented. So accordingly, one can choose. Uh, Jitesh, now itself is a good idea because, you know, uh, 
today we can sit down and help you plan out everything and you can meet us uh, like two three times also to help you finalize everything and then you'll be ready and then you focus on the exams so jan feb you should be just working towards your board exams without any chinta usse pehle sab kuch so the earlier you meet the better it is so right time is now so you can connect with us on these numbers i think my team has been sharing numbers revo if you can put up numbers once again yeah you can connect with us on these numbers if you want to talk to us about study abroad you can connect with us on this if it is uh, domestic counseling then the first number yeah so you can connect with us on these numbers and then we can take it on so with this i wish you all the best guys it was great uh, that we could uh, spend so much time with you and uh, any help you need you can just uh, get in touch with us i wish you all the best uh, and application services uh, uh, akshay does uh, lead in this so his mobile number is given here so you can if you want indian application services we are happy to provide you that for any other thing like career counseling study abroad services you can connect with other numbers uh, students this journey is a is a journey where you have to really be dedicated and sincere and your efforts right now you are in 11th grade 12th grade will help you throughout your life i helped a student who was into partying and all and she just got serious for four months she cracked sukhdev her starting job was with times of india uh, and she was able to earn uh, within one year she was earning about 65000 this is some time back so at that time 65000 was a very good salary whereas uh, her brother who couldn't crack that he joined ip university some lower college he got a salary after three years of a starting salary of 22000 rupees per month so imagine 60 you are starting at 65 you are starting at 22 and in the next 3 years the 65 girl will reach 1.4 1.5 that guy will reach 60 yeah so the difference is huge so right now uh, just be sincere towards what you doing i am i am not saying no to parties but in a day if i am if i allocate i'll study for 5 6 hours i'll i'll party for 1 hour if i don't study some day i'll just remove that and i'll work on it build up yourself on memorizing self motivation time management i will come back again one day and do a workshop on that also and a webinar on that also and how do you handle exam anxiety mujhe to bahut anxiety hoti hai jab 12 board exam hota tha yeah but how do you handle it uh, how do you how do you keep your mind calm and you can really crack exams well so 5 10% to tum in cheezon se hi grow kar lete ho so some of you will say nahi kuch farak nahi padta sabko padta hai we are humans after all yeah concentration achhi tarah kar lena mobile sara big distraction it's just like a drug yeah how to handle that yeah so i'll come back one more time and i'll share this with you all these tips with you so keep on watching out uh, for more notifications from our side do like our youtube channel and wish you all the best thank you bye bye